Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. If you clicked on this video today, you're probably curious about nature and want to learn more. Or you might live in one of the 12 East Coast states of the United States that will be witnessing the emergence of a 17-year cicada. And you may have started to get some heads up from news reports and television reports. If you live in one of those 12 states, I'm really excited about this opportunity for you because I got to witness it last year. Brood 9 emerged here just outside my door in rural Southwest Virginia and it was just an incredible phenomena. In this video, I'll share my enthusiasm that you can see as I discovered them last year, and I'll give you background of what you will see, how to find them, what's going on underground right now in advance of this coordinated emergence of millions, no, billions, no, actually trillions of cicadas. So here I am a year ago on Saturday, April 26th, and we're about to witness one of the greatest, one of the most fantastic, one of the most bizarre biological life events in the whole world. We are on the cusp of the 17-year periodical cicada emergence in mass. There's going to be millions and millions of cicadas coming out all at one time. As you can see, I was pretty excited. So there are 12 different broods of cicadas. Each brood comes out in a different, different year, but each brood was underground for 17 years. As I said, brood 10, the 2021 brood, is the largest of all the cicada broods. Brood 10 will emerge in over 200 counties in 12 states across the Northeast. This phenomena occurs nowhere else on the planet, only here. In fact, it was undiscovered by the world until settlers arrived in New England. And they described the emergence of these cicadas and they called them locusts because it reminded them of locusts of the Bible. But these organisms are not really related to locusts at all. The scientific name is Magicicada septendisum. And magic cicada is a really good word for them. The emergence after 17 years of so many cicadas is tied to an evolutionary biological concept called predator satiation defense. And this is a phenomena where an organism when they're ready to breed, will come out in such large numbers, it's impossible for predators to eat them all. And once the predators are full, well, they don't eat any more of them. And so the organisms can go about breeding uninterrupted. This is part one of two videos that I'm gonna share with you. And we're gonna focus in this video on the pre-emergence. And I'm gonna take you back to last year so you can experience my excitement as I discovered and explore these burrows are getting prepped like an army well in advance of the eventual emergence. I'll show you what you can expect to see in your yard, how to find some of these burrows that are getting prepped right now, and when they'll actually come out. And the next video will feature what happens when after they come out and what they're going to be doing. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. And here's to make this basic. There's a dog. Dogwoods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes. Terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's So I'm going to put together some video clips of me walking out in the woods and show you what to look for. They've been in the ground for 17 years and they've been feeding on plant roots and sucking the sap out of tree roots to get their nutrition to grow. They're expert burrowers and they're building these amazing tunnels right now secretly. Millions and millions of cicada larvae are underground in some kind of grand coordination to come out all at the same time. When the temperature of the soil, eight inches deep, gets to 64 degrees, they're gonna come out all at once. 
and they're digging their burrows now, but some of these might not come out of the burrows for another month. It might be mid-May before these come out. Here is, oh, I wanted to show you. And, and again, I wanted to show you how round that opening is, how smooth. You see, it's almost like the inside of this hole has been plastered by a little mini plasterer where you use very fine sediments, very fine sand. If you take a piece of this off, you can see that it's like welded together. And that's a telltale sign that this hole was made by cicadas. You see the outside has a lot of vegetation in it. And he was digging soil out and packing it in just like a, a craftsman here uh, with the plaster. And all around the sides of this hole are carefully prepared. So he is getting ready for that opportunity to leave. And they're all getting ready right now. So some of these holes are capped. And this is what a cap looks like. So here's his hole, some debris falling in there. And here is the cap. And you can see that the cap would stick out of the dirt like this and look inside. Again, craftsmanship, plasterer, look how perfectly smooth. So he dug his hole and built this cap so that he can uh, his hole would be covered and he would be, have some level of protection. And then when it was time for all of the cicadas to emerge from their burrows, it would be easily just to break that cap off. So one of the things you wanna look for on the ground is caps like that. And you can see it's made of dirt and he's also got some vegetation in there. So it's cleverly disguised, so they're hard to find right now. And I do think that a lot of these, like this one, was partially dug out by a predator on cicada larva, probably a small mammal. So we're down here on ground level again. I've been spending a lot of time here on my belly. And here is another cicada tube. I'm just impressed with how perfectly round that is, how well made it is, how it's evenly lined. This one doesn't have a cap on it. And I'm wondering if I come back in a few days, if it will be there or if something has already just knocked that cap off. So some small animals helped me find this location. And then I got down on my knees, pretty much on my hands and knees and on my belly, and I found this. Look at that mud cap. That is the mud cap of the periodical 17-year cicada. And I'll show you what's inside. So if you take that mud cap, you can open it, and that's the telltale sign that this hole was made by a cicada. And I'm gonna close that back up again. And I'm sure he'll probably come back and repair it later. But I wanted you to show you what these mud caps look like. So that's a thing to look for in your yard or in the woods or in a neighborhood or a wooded place near your house. I'm sitting out here in the rain and I'm getting wet and I think it's time for me to go in. I hope I gave you enough video clips to show you how to find the 17 year cicada holes. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. And I hope if you live in one of those 12 states where Brood 10 will be coming out, you get an opportunity to see this phenomena occur in your own yard. And you wanna find out if your county is one where Brood 10 will emerge. I've got some links in my description where you can click and see if your county is covered in this brood emergence. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do and leave me a like. But I really, really like to hear from my viewers. Please leave me comments and questions and I'll get back to you right away. And if you can, it would be awesome if viewers would share their experiences with cicadas emerging around their houses. And you could do that on my Facebook page, Nature at Your Door. Thanks for watching. Next episode will be what happens when these guys actually do come out of the ground. Remember that they will start to come out when the temperature of the soil eight inches below the surface reaches 64 degrees. Catch you in my next episode.